What's up, tubers, growers, and cannabis smokers? Welcome to the Chill Tech Growcraft 600 Build Out LED DIY Kit. As you can see, we got everything laid out here on the table and ready to go. All the screws, the dimmer switch, all the light bars ready to go. All laid out here. Let's start with the power board. We're going to lay the power board down into its track. It kind of pops right down in there, no problem. After you have it down inside its track, you can go ahead and lean it up on its side and go ahead and start pulling some of these light bars to it and start lining up your holes. Now, you should use the holes labeled with the amount of bars that you got, like ours is a six bars so we went with the six holes number six holes you screw it down nice and tight you don't have to over tighten them it does take a little bit to get everything all lined up with the with the bars but once you get going on it it's pretty easy and here on the other end there is no power board so you can go ahead and give it a nice good snug tight fit Everything lines up pretty easy on this end once you got all the other. What we did find out is we put the board on wrong, the power board, so we had to unscrew it and flip it over. We busted out the drill. We did set the brake to two. This drill is total overkill for this job. So if you do use a drill of this size, just set your brake accordingly so you're not going to break the power board. After we got that all squared away, it was time to start measuring out all of our wires, our positive and negative wires for the light boards. Super easy. Shoot them up through the holes and just go ahead and measure them back to where the connectors are. Strip some of the wire off. They recommend eight millimeters. Go ahead and you can give them just a nice little push in. They pop right up in there, no problem. But we decided using the needle nose was much better. We felt more confident that it was all the way up in there when we switched over to the needle nose. Onto the negative wire. Slides right in, no problem. Go back and make sure this positive one's in there nice and snug because we did use our fingers. I went ahead and jumped ahead and start measuring out the rest of the positive and negative wires for all the light boards. And he went right behind me and just start connecting them. And of course, once you measure out one, you can use the other one to measure the negative wire out and it makes it a lot quicker. On to the power cord. As you can see here, we got some components to put together. So you go ahead and slide the coil down the power cord, put the locking nut there, the back end shoot it through the power board and the frame pretty obvious what connector it'll go to so you can measure that out don't forget your gasket and your nut just screw down to the power board you can see there there we go we're just fine we have to pull it back just a little bit and screw that nut down nice and tight use the needle nose give it a nice little push and it pops right in you guys you'll hear it make a pop sound Super easy to put together to this point. I was very impressed. And on to the rest of the wiring, guys. I love these Wago connectors. They're super awesome to work with. So now we're gonna go ahead and put together wire in power cord to the driver. And obviously you can match up the colors, black with black, red with white. Look at that, how it just pops in. Those connectors are fantastic. My first time using them. I love them. I was. I feel like I could use them for all kinds of applications. And there we go, all set for the power cord. Now we're gonna use or we'll start working on the dimmer switch. The red and blue go together. Put them in, and then the white and black go together. Nice and easy. Love it. No tape. No mess. Flip them in, makes a nice snap sound. Boom, dimmer switch, done. That easy, you guys. Check the snug, they fit nice and tight. Nice close up look, close up of the connectors. 
Now you just start matching the colors with the other wires, you guys. Yellow and green together, red and red, blue and blue. I love how the wires all came pre-stripped. We didn't have to do that at all. It made it super easy just to connect everything up. Everything's nice and snug, of course. Boom, the wiring for the driver is done, over. It was that quick. I couldn't believe how fast it went. Now we can go ahead and put the cover over the power board All the screws provided. Definitely don't use a power drill on this. It's four screws all the way down on each side. Now we're moving on to the end caps, you guys. They got several options. They got the blues, they got the purple pinkish color, and whites come with it. Uh, they sent me over these colors to play with, so we went ahead and did every other bar, one bar blue end cap, next bar the pink purple end cap, and so on and so on. Once we were done, we thought it really made the light pop. Now it's time to go ahead and remove the protective layer on the back of the light boards. We're getting ready to hang it, you guys. It's getting there. But before we hang it, we need to test it. No sense of getting in there and hanging it and then testing it and finding out you might have some sort of wiring issue. We're going to go ahead and plug it in. As soon as he plugs it in, I was super happy to find out that it was all the way turned down with the dimmer switch and it didn't blow our eyeballs out. We're going to go ahead and start cranking it up here and it gets bright quickly. One thing I got to say is this video is not doing this light justice of the intensity. I was very impressed when we fired it up and got it cranked all the way up to its full setting. Standing there, impressive I thought. All right, we got it all the way back down, and this is the lowest setting right here. This is what it looks like. Look at that, the pinkish and the blue <laughs> does look good. So, let's go ahead and we're installing the driver now. Getting the zip ties out, start zip tying up some of the wiring, getting it up out of the way. One thing, it does come with a very long power cord. That is nice. Too many times back in the day, they were just too short. Now, we went with the ratchet ropes that came with it because they were new, new light, new ratchet ropes. Don't have to really worry about anything. Getting it all cranked up and there's that chilled grow craft and there you go, you guys. Boom. I was pressed with the coverage. It can go up to a five by five. Of course, the ratings are better at four by four. Very bright light, very impressed with the whole thing, the kit the quality of the kit, how easy it went together. And like I said, the video is certainly not doing the brightness and intensity justice at all. We're gonna go ahead and I think I'm gonna get some uh, two-sided tape and mount this dimmer switch so we can access it easily, and control it whenever we want. Because I definitely don't like to fully blast my plants when I first bring them in. So there you guys go. Thank you for following along on this build, my first light build, and thank you, Chilled, for sending over the kit for me to play with and put together and learn some things along the way about LED. And of course, you guys, you can go to the website, chilledgrowlights.com, and use MedGrower1 at checkout for a discount. These kits are ready to ship out, you guys. Don't miss out, and until next time, Peace out, my friends.